what we've done is we've identified the three areas, the three root causes that I'm going to tell you about um, that uh, all veterans navigate. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And when I hear guys say, that's not a problem for me and it never will be, I try to kindly tell them to just stand by yeah, because right. at some point it probably will be, right. okay? Uh, for some guys, this hits them in the face real fast and real hard. For others, not so much. But um, if any one of these three things is manifesting in a veteran's life, it's going to create challenges. Two of them will be very challenging. If all three of these things are happening at once, it can be a crisis type situation that Surf Brigade right now is actually helping several veterans navigate. And I'll tell you how we do that. But these are the three things. And I'll tell you why their challenges. The first one is purpose. Okay. Uh, when we served in the military, we all experienced a very intense sense of purpose. It's not common for people in their twenties and thirties to experience the type of purpose driven life that you do in the military, especially if you are a GWAT guy, you show up to a new unit and you know, immediately what the unit's mission is you know when you're going to deploy and you know everything you have to train on to be qualified to go on that deployment. That sort of purpose is not found often across uh, the civilian uh, population and community. And one of the challenges that we experience, it's a blessing to experience that early in our life. And for a lot of civilians, other than maybe first responders or uh, um, community politician leaders, it's not common to experience that intense of a purpose for civilians. The curse of that is we take military members and we peg their purpose needle very early in life. Okay. If you think about driving a race car, we redline their purpose needle. And if you're in a specialized unit for a prolonged period of time, we are asking military members to hammer the gas for years of their lives and keep that purpose needle pegged in the red zone over and over and over again. And what that does is it sets their baseline and expectations for what it means to have purpose in your life so high that when we take them off the racetrack, right? One day when we tell them, hey, you can take your foot off the gas now. It's time to go to an instructor position. It's time to go to headquarters or it's time to ETS or retire. When, that, when those RPMs come down drastically, that can leave a lot of veterans kind of feeling empty from a purpose perspective. It's not uncommon for a surf brigade to have veterans reach out and say, everyone I work with sucks. Nobody cares about things as much as I do. They're all terrible at communications. They don't respond to my emails. They, they're, they're, they don't care. Nobody cares as much as I do where I work. And what that reveals pretty quickly is veterans are expecting to find that same sense of purpose through their work that they did when they were in the military. And unfortunately, that's not likely to happen. Right. Uh, unless you're a first responder or you're serving in the community somewhere, it's not likely that you're going to find that much purpose through your career. It doesn't mean that that much holistic purpose isn't available in your life. It's just not going to come from a single source. Right. And so we work on identifying that with veterans to help them understand you're probably unnecessarily taxing your work. And the problem with that is you're going to be continuously disappointed by it and eventually disenfranchised by it. And you're not going to enjoy it. And then you're going to be left working a job that you hate. And it's not because it's a bad job or the people are not good people, but it's because you have had unrealistic expectations yeah. of the purpose that's available through that work. Instead, you have to identify and have realistic expectations on what sort of purpose is available for you through that. And then you have to realize how much more purpose is necessary for you to be content and where else you can get that. Yeah. Okay. Other healthy environments where you can get that. Right. Okay. Because there are a lot of veterans that look for purpose in other areas and it very often leads them down the wrong paths. Yeah. Okay. 
This is also known sometimes as a midlife crisis. Okay. A guy says, um, I, you know, I, I need something more. And so they start making bad decisions. They start running with bad crowds. They start making selfish decisions, but we can avoid all that if we introduce purposeful things to their life in the critical moments where they need it. Yeah. And so when veterans reach out to surf brigade and we recognize and help them understand you have a purpose problem. Okay. A lot of the conversations that I just shared with you, I bet you've had those too. I bet you've heard veterans say those exact same things. Okay. Oh, yeah. They often think myself, I've navigated these challenges too. They often think they're the only person experiencing a purpose problem. Right. And it's, it's not true. They're just not talking about it with other people as well. And so these are those critical moments where we see it and we go, you need something to soak up that purpose problem. Let me introduce you to surfing. 